Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me, the King of the Funkos. I hope you're well. And today we have something a little bit different. It is Funko related. It's very much Funko related. Um, but a friend of mine um, asked me to purchase some Funkos for them. Um, and they got shipped to me. And eventually um, I will ship them to themselves. Um, because I intend to, to go to um, Stratford to meet this kind gentleman. Um, and hopefully by then he will have his own YouTube channel um, But we have a couple of boxes, hopefully, I say couple Because this is actually the cheaper of the two boxes that I purchased for him um, This comes to £464, I believe um, They have a sale going through at um, about £700 And then they have another load of um, boxes um, coming, but, uh, funny story short, at the moment UPS have lost it, and if they have lost it, they're screwed, because that is what I paid, just over £800 for the other box, so um, we can pray that UPS is gone. hopefully I can get into this, and it stands up quicker than normal, I mean I can't complain with packaging, I don't mind packaging like this, Hopefully, I say hopefully, I'm still hopeful. Come on, Josh. I'm actually dreadful at opening boxes or box packaging. Come on, right? Layer one complete onto layer two. So, um, in here, well, actually, I'm not, this is a bit of a mystery for me, too, because, um, I got invited to the conversation, but really all I cared about was, um, um, what, not, not what's in here, but, um, the box in general. Um, so, funnily enough, it actually has what's in here. Um, but, it says, thank you for your custom. Um, it's not a problem, <laughs> not really my custom, because it's not my pops, though some of these pops were wished were mine, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, let's find out what Mr. Anthony bought, shall we? So, can I just say, that is what you expect. That is packaging at its best. So, we have the first pop is in a hard pack. It is an ad icon and it is Boo Berry. So, not too bad. Um, I might, if I remember, put the prices of the pops um, on screen if I do remember. Then, so with Blueberry, we have a Mr. Frankenberry. And I do like these hard stacks, these are quite nice. These aren't the pop figure ones though, are they? No. These are decent hard stacks. Um so we have Blueberry and if I'm correct there should be kind of chocula or chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Because that completes those. Oh, I say those and I can't even get this on. Bear with me. Bear with me. I can't get this off. I definitely know there's um, one pot that I really did want in here. Um, personally, because it's one of those pots that I don't have and it's um, a semi grail. And then we have Count Chocula. Um, and to me, it looks like. All of these are in good nick, which is nice to see. Then we have a pop that actually I own. It is an ad icon again, but it is Chester Cheetah Glow in the Dark. So it is a pop that we um, actually personally own ourselves. Then we have... We need to be careful because we get some expensive pops down the bottom. Is this the metallic one? Is this the metallic one? This is a nice spot. 
Um, it is indeed. It is Green Giant and Sprout Special Edition Metallic. Now, this is a pop that I would like to own. Um, I don't particularly do add icons, but when I do, I do the ones that I like. Um, this is a pop that we actually did have, um, and we sold it, which um, I know that Anthony would be gutted for, because um, it would have added to him getting the other Sanderson sisters that I had, because um, I have the flying Sanderson sisters and the other three packs, and I know that he is taking them off of my hand. So we have... The Sanderson Sisters. This is the movie moment. Um, and also it's got the Spirit exclusive. Sounds stupid, but I prefer that over the um, special edition sticker any day. Um, and the final pop up here um, is... I, this is the one that I really do want. Personally, I'd love it in my collection. Um, because... Open it. Come on, gosh. I should learn. Here we are. This is a beautiful pop. This is the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl pop. Um, this is definitely a grail. Oh, no. A grail to semi grail, in my eyes. Um, it depends on how much you'd like to spend on Funkos. I mean, considering um, I just recorded a video, um, which I have a signed pop, which would be roughly the same price as this. Um, maybe it wouldn't be classified a grail to me, but um, this is definitely a semi-grail in my eyes, and I love that it's got like Flounder um, and Sebastian at the back. And I'm just gutted that my phone is dreadful um, at the moment for recording, and I'm so glad that we're getting a new phone very soon. Um, but this is a beautiful pop. So that is it for this video. Um, hopefully, as long as um, UPS find the package, we will have one more um, parcel to arrive. Um, and when it does, I will, um, of course, record that. Um, and that one does have some grails. That's got some Freddy Funko pops. Um, it's got a my most is it my most expensive pop that I own potentially. Very close to it um, in there. So there are a lot of pops that could be on their way. Um, so hopefully we will um, see what happens um, and hopefully we will uh, receive it. Um, if you did like this video, let me know. For me, I'm going to guess um, again for um, guess the Lindell game. And I'm going to go with the Sanderson sisters because I know that she likes um, the baddies. And they're as bad as she can get really, aren't they? Um, so I'm going to go with that. I don't think Lindell collects that icon. So if I, if, if she does, then I'm screwed. Um, but I'm going to go with, um, Sanderson Sisters. Um, for me, it has to be Kiss the Girl. Um, but let me know what your favourite was. Subscribe if you're new around here and like what you have just watched if you do like it. Um, and until next time, guys, I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye.